Hey, buggies, it's Jester. How you doing? I'm doing okay, so I hope you are too. And I'm just trying to say... I do apologize for not getting stuff out recently. Sorry. That was the space heater, because it gets a little chilly down in the basement sometimes. Well, especially during winter. But anyways, as far as content goes, um... I have been busy with work working full-time and trying to also plan around my mental illnesses kind of kicking in, doing what they do. And again, I am bipolar one with psychosis and dealing with that is a journey. There's a lot to it and not many people understand it so they don't really exactly think it's necessarily a thing. So I advise you to research and learn with people you know to find out more about what you may think is just in someone's head is actually part of someone's head. So there's a lot to it, but anyways, I'm going off topic a lot because I would just want to address issues when they do come up because if I don't answer questions, then how are people going to learn? Or how am I going to learn for that matter? Do you have questions? Find answers. So, I'm going to be wanting to do actually things a bit more consistently now because I want to do Heroes of the Storm if I can. So that'll be more like a common frequent thing that isn't always put up on YouTube, but is something that you can consider joining me in as far as doing a multiplayer type of game. If you're going to ask about Fortnite, I'll probably be more likely to do PvE, which is Save the World rather than doing Battle Royale, which, you know, Battle Royale, the movie, did it first, which is why I don't want to follow it, because it's each game that now does this whole Battle Royale thing, it's following the classic objectives that make up a genre. So Battle Royale is now a new genre, and that is something we have to face, approvingly or disapprovingly, but hey, we're all people of our own opinions, so we can't always decide what everyone else wants because that's why we have a democracy in some places. Eh? So, anyways, I want to do the actual reviews when I can, but I will be doing a trip to a convention nearby in Rosemont, Illinois next weekend in, well, the beginning of December. From Thursday through Sunday, you can find me as Ralsei from Deltarune. I am currently completing this cosplay as soon as I can, and with whatever detail I can provide, I will be happy to provide. But if I can't provide the detail that I want to provide, I will not be happy because you know what I am? I am an artist, and an artist seeks perfection. So, yeah, I did that. A little over the top, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, I'm making myself laugh because I didn't expect myself to actually go that far, especially when I realized, oh yeah, this is a video going to people. What are they gonna think? Uh, then I'm a dork, so what else is new? I'm secretly a dork, I just don't always express it because I am professional. I say things that are appropriate and astute and concise. I say what is most indubitably Appropriate. So yeah, that's just, you know, how I roll. Again, I want to remind you the games that will be reviewed first with Good Games with Dr. GG. Those two games will be Battle Clash and a combination with Metal Combat. I almost said Mortal Combat. Be quiet. I know I thought it first when I was in the 90s as a kid looking at this thing, having a super scope that looks like a freaking bazooka, and it's actually like a laser gun, which is, you know, freaking badass, even though it had only like a few games, which was, again, Battle Clash and Metal Combat, and then they had Terminator 2, when, you know, we just had Terminator 2 back in the day. Yeah, they did the arcade game as a Super Nintendo port. It was kind of eh, it didn't have that same that you got in the arcade, because, you know, Feeling that rumble gets you right in the action. Yeah, that's always fun to do, you know, have the vibrations. Because 
I'm not gonna go into song. I have that song right in my head because I just about was about to sing. I'm picking up good vibrations. And she is giving me good citations. For the machine that is the arcade, it is a various land of fun. And they should really include DDR still. So, you know, I probably should have said at the beginning that this was a Jester's Journal. And I didn't exactly say that at the beginning. I just kind of threw you into whatever I was saying because this is pretty much a free form stay stuff as I go and let you guys know how I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get things a little bit mixed up. Maybe be slightly informal for once. Just throw things around a bit. You know, keep things interesting rather than having you have to, you know, skip around. You'll just watch me be a dubious dork. So, yeah, that is mostly it. And... If you do have any suggestions of games that I should play or review, say so in the comments, but I will also probably make another video a little later about uh, saying, hey, what would you like to suggest for good games with Dr. GG? Well, I'm thinking it'll be a good time, but all suggestions aren't taken instantaneously because I have to kind of consider well, what kind of takes up more time, what takes up less time, there are different factors, and I will get to any game I can that is suggested, but if this becomes, like, super popular, I'm gonna have to figure out a new system. Because for right now, I will be okay getting suggestions from a few people at a time, because it'll be like, oh, hey, can you review this? Hey, can you review this? Um, yeah, I can do that. So... If you want, you can just tune in whenever I actually do the series. And that will be soon, but at first I need to, you know, finish a certain cosplay. Eh, if you can see it. So, oh yeah, now it sticks out more because I pulled it out a little bit. Great. So, that would be about it. And I want to thank you for watching and... If you ever want to, you know, have any subjects I should share or bring up or discuss, just let me know and I'll be free to do so when I can. But I am still working and doing stuff creatively takes time. And when you have a job, a day job, it takes more time. And a word of advice to any voice actors or aspiring voice actors, you will need some form of a day job that you will like to a, need to like to a degree in order to keep going uh, smoothly as a voice actor until you make it to the high times and the high times will get there it just takes time practice experience experimentation it's all about learning life is learning so I hope you guys are willing to learn whatever you can to get wherever you can and life isn't gonna be handed to you you gotta work for it a little bit you gotta actually stand up as hard as it is and put one foot in front of the other. I have a shit ton of depression so I take medication for that in order to get me up because otherwise I would literally be sleeping repeatedly every day and I used to do that in Oregon. It was how I could solve my issues because as dark as it sounds I found dreams a whole lot more fun. And Maybe that's why I do incorporate dream stuff into a lot of my content, or what you may have not noticed to be a major theme in some of my content. Dreams aren't just what you aspire to. Dreams are also what you imagine. So I seek to mix the two in what I'm doing. And that's just how I roll. Oh man, I was gonna try and go for a more dramatic crack. That didn't work. Oh well, at least I tried. So yeah, this is the actual goodbye, and I'll see if I actually had this edited, and if I did have this edited, good for me. I actually put more effort into the videos like I used to. And can again, I just need to take it one step at a time. So okay, see you guys later, and no matter the time of day, have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night. See you next time. Oops, I had to get my heart out in front. Uh, I wonder if I should do this closer. See you guys next time. Love you lots. Bye.